Hi everybody, welcome to Harcourt's Packham Hot Property of the Week. I'm here with Paul Mayer. This looks like a beautiful character home. Where are we today? We are at 27 Clark Avenue in Glendor, James. And why is this one going to be hot property? This is a beautiful property. It's uh, circa 1930. It's a huge family home. It's probably over 300 square metres under the main roof. It's been meticulously renovated and extended. Well, that sounds like hot property to me. Can you take us for a guided tour? Let's go and have a look. Lead the way. So the front of the property is the original part of the property. We've got two large bedrooms, a formal dining and a formal lounge room. Throughout this part, we've got the original New Zealand Rimu hardwood floors. We've got new carpet to all the bedrooms and lounge room. In the front of the house, we've got two glazed brick fireplaces. We've got three metre ornate ceilings. We have the original Art Deco light fittings. We've got Art Deco etched windows. We've got the hardwood picture rails. This would be a perfect family home. It's really interesting because we've got over 300 square metres under the main roof, so the floor plan really just offers flexibility and opportunity to make it whatever you want. At the moment, it's configured with three bedrooms and two bathrooms. However, it's also, at that same time, it's got three living areas and two dining areas, which is probably surplus to most people's needs. So you could really present this property anywhere up to five bedrooms if you wanted. And upstairs is just an opportunity to make it whatever you like. It's, it's 70 square metres, it's filled with light. It's just a blank canvas. You could make it a huge home office. You could have a guest retreat, a teenage retreat. You could make it the fourth bedroom. Maybe even a home theatre. Yeah, really just offers flexibility. It's not every day that you see an extensions done and they just continue the theme of three metre ornate ceilings throughout. The rear wall here is made up of French doors. They're 2.7 metres high. And they've actually been architecturally designed. It's a curved wall and it just captures every single moment of the morning sun. This is what we call a conversation starter. It's a, this has actually been brought from the original part of the home. It's a 1930s retro kitchen. However, they've refurbished it all and they've put soft clothes handles and runners on all the doors and drawers. They've got thick glass bench tops, mirrored splashbacks. They've put in these beautiful stained glass windows. We've got the huge 800 mil stainless gas cooktop. We've got all the European appliances. It is a lot of fun, but it actually functions and is a really high quality kitchen. We've got a beautiful ornate fireplace. And it's just a huge room with the ornate ceiling. It's very grand, very opulent. You make your way through into the huge walk-in robe. And then probably one of my favorite rooms in the whole place is the uh, ensuite. It continues the black and white Art Deco theme. It has a large double shower and it's just stepping up onto the claw-footed bath with that beautiful stained glass window framing it and the dome ceiling above. It's just an incredible space. So as you can see, the gardens are just meticulously maintained. It's a beautiful English garden. We've got the box hedges that are trimmed the whole way around. Everything's established. So the outdoor entertaining area is actually the remnants of an old Glendor bakehouse that would have been here many years ago. It's a beautiful, tranquil backyard. It's quiet, it's secure, it's secluded. And you can really capture the aspect of the architecture that's gone into the building. You have this beautiful curved wall capturing the morning sun, the beautiful gables, and the top windows just flooding light into the uh, upstairs. So there you have it guys, 27 Clark Avenue in Glendor. Certainly is hot real estate, and that's your Harcourts Packham Hot Property of the Week with Paul Mager. We look forward to seeing you at the Opens. Thanks for showing us around. Thanks a lot, guys.